Hey guys, this is Jason, uh, the furnace man here from YouTube. Uh, in the field, got an indoor TXV in the cooling mode that's going bad. Uh, just thought I'd show you how I use my 3 gauge setup to check that out. If you go here and you look, I've got my 3 gauges set up. Uh, of course, I've got this one, low pressure side. I got it hooked to my true suction. High pressure gauge, I've got to the 3 8 service valve. Third gauge, I've got hooked up to the 7 8 uh, suction line. So, right now, of course, these two are reading the same. It's showing me low charge, 410 system. And what I'm going to do is disconnect the reversing valve and watch my pressures and see if it's a refrigerant charge problem or if it is a TXV problem. So take the reversing valve off. Going back to our gauges, these two should now be the same and this is now my suction. And so of course we're going to watch this. If this reads back up here back in the hundreds again, you know about 125 to 150 then I know the refrigerant charge is right. It's all in the metering device. And so as I'm watching, of course, this one's reading about 275 to 300. And this one's right at 300. And this one's at about 170 and fixing to fall. It's pretty warm outside, but uh, it'll come on down here. We're going to watch it here for just a second. So right now, it is in the heating mode. This tells me for sure that uh, I've got good refrigerant pressures, so I'm not, I don't have a leak anywhere. So odds are what I've got is a bad indoor TXV. Uh, this unit originally called was uh, out on low pressure, was was on the board, uh, came out here, reset it, checked everything out, everything was fine. Uh, a couple of days later, it went out. Did the same process, everything was fine, pressures, motors, everything's working good. Today I come out and check it and I've actually caught it in the act. And as you can see here, my section is down to about uh, about 140, thereabouts. Head pressure's running about 310, 315. Discharge right there, right around the same thing, about 325. So everything here is working good, so I'm going to go back. Re-energize our reversing valve. Come back and watch our pressures again. And if the two gauges on the left drop back down, back down around the you know 50 to 75 mark, then we know exactly what's going on here. Bad indoor TXV in the cooling mode. Head pressure, good. Suction, oh, there we are, about 70 and still falling. Here we are, 75. We should be at about 125 on, the, on these two gauges here. So we now know what the problem is. It's a bad indoor TXV. Uh, I'll follow up with that TXV replacement video, hopefully. We'll catch you guys later. Bye.